Okay, this is a quick run through of what my nine year old boy is using for school this year. You could call him fourth grade if you wanted to put a grade number on him. So we are using Sunlight D for him. He has previously done all of the Sunlight cores preschool all the way through B. And then we skipped C for this year. We're going to D and then we'll go back. And I'll explain that a little bit more another time. But this is um, Intro to American History, year one of two. And when you order Sunlight, it comes with a list of a bunch of books. It's based on reading living books. It's not based on workbooks or um, textbooks at all. And then they give you a schedule for every week. So you can see um, for Bible, they have quite a bit to do. There's some parent reading, student reading. Um, he has an American Indian prayer guide this year. He's memorizing some Bible verses. And then moving down to the history section, um, there are books there that he would read. Then there are read-alouds that I read to him and readers that he reads on his own. So if you look at Sunlight, you can choose a four-day or a five-day. So we've chosen the five-day schedule. The four-day is still um, very robust. It just eliminates a few of the books that they would get into on day five. He's also doing the advanced readers. So it's very nice. You can choose readers based on the child's reading level. So he is doing Core D with advanced readers, the five-day schedule. Now, I only do the parent reading of the Bible, and I do the read-alouds with him. <clears throat> he reads the history on his own and the rest of the Bible, and of course the readers on his own. And then there are questions um, as it goes through. Here's an example for read-alouds. There are discussion questions. And you could just pause this if you're interested. And they have the same type of thing for the readers. So there would be comprehension questions that I can go over with him each day after he does his work to make sure he's on track. So what does it actually look like? These are the history and geography books. So I purchase my Sunlight Kits used. Either I piece them together by buying used books separately or lately it's been working out well I found a woman that is a year ahead of me with her children and so each year when she's done she just reaches out to me and I PayPal her and she sends me her used materials so these are the history books that he, I'm having him do those on his own and then these are the read alouds so I will be reading these out loud to him and also, my seven-year-old is tagging along. He's doing most of the read-alouds with us, with us this year. So you can see the more of them over here. And then there's also a poetry book um, underneath here with a CD in it. Okay, so those are the read-alouds. And then these are the readers. Now, again, he's doing the advanced readers, and so this is a bigger stack than it would be if you chose the regular readers for that level. So, again, it's all Introduction to American History, which my children love that. They are obsessed with the Revolutionary War and things like that. So I think this year is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, and then Bible. This is the Bible that he has this year for school. Um, and then the American Indian Prayer Guide. It's pretty interesting. And then it comes with a CD to help you learn the memory verses. We don't use the CD because it is usually a different uh, version than we would use. I don't think it even says, but usually it's like King James version or something. And um, it's a little bit harder for the kids. So we don't usually use the CDs or do that. We just, I write the memory verse for the week on the marker board and then we go over it each day at breakfast. Okay, for science, we are using Sunlight Science. Again, this year we have gone around to different things on our science and we keep coming back to this. So he is doing Sunlight Science D on his own this year. There is a schedule the same way there is with the main part of Sunlight. Here's an example of the schedule. And so it tells him what book to read. It tells him which questions to answer. And then um, there's a DVD that we did not get with our kit. And that's okay because it's on Amazon Prime. So this Incredible Creatures That Defy Evolution, that's on Amazon Prime, and our kids have already watched them several times. And so, for example, this week he's reading out of this book, 
and then there are these worksheets and he does the assigned questions. And then there are other sunlight science books. Again, they're just real books. They're not, um, you know, textbooks exactly. So they usually really enjoy reading them, especially the Osborne books. Um, if you're concerned with young earth versus old earth and concerned with evolution versus creation, you can read about that on Sunlight's website. They have some articles. We personally like to present both approaches to our children just because I went to public school and my husband went to public school. We didn't even know about young earth um, theories until we were adults. And so it's really important to us that our children have a good understanding of both. And then whatever way we lean, you know, we can let them know that. But um, sunlight does work well, I think, if you're taking kind of that um, all around approach or a comprehensive approach. So they are going to be exposed to ideas from both sides, but it is easy to, you know, skip things or to kind of give them a disclaimer if there's something you really don't agree with one way or the other. <clears throat> and then also, um, I didn't usually buy these science supply kits, but since I've been getting the kits um, secondhand from someone and she buys them, then she passes them on. So it would be kind of nice um, to not have to go piece together all those random supplies. So those are available as well from Sunlight. And then for our grammar, reading, and spelling, and vocabulary, we are using Logic of English, again, and we're using Essentials. They recommend for children eight years and up, maybe a little bit younger, they have a placement test. So I can help you guys with that. I have all the levels that they make, um, but he, this year, is on Essentials. He's starting with level 16, and we should be able to complete through 30. And then the cool thing with this Essentials stuff is, say that he started at eight, it has three different levels within the same book. Lesson 16, okay? And you can see right up here, there's a little key, level A, B, or C. So all students do the things marked all. And then you'll see spots where they mark, like level C also needs to review this. And so what you do is you go through the books three times. So you basically could use the, these books for three years. So you could go through them at level A. And again, when it comes to a spelling list, here's the spelling list for level A. And then the level B is here and level C again up here. So what I really like about these is that it's very scripted. It tells you exactly what you can say. You do not have to have really knowledge of what you're teaching. So we started with their foundations program when my son was four and he did four years of that and then he did a year of this last year and now we're continuing on and finishing essentials this year. So I do feel it's a very complete program. The foundations program for little kids is great when they're rambunctious and they want to get up out of their seat. There's a lot of games and things. So there are workbooks as well that go with this and I bought the PDF so I'll just print him off and bind him up a workbook to go with it. I have a separate video about their PDFs and how those work for us. So I will link to that too. Okay, moving on to math. So we have done Montessori style math, which generally is really hard for me to recommend to people because it's complicated. It's not a clear cut scripted curriculum. Like I was saying about that. Montessori is kind of based on following the child. So it's really hard to have a clear scope and sequence, I guess. I, this year, we did try teaching textbooks because I knew a lot of you guys would be looking for something easier and I've always planned to do teaching textbooks. I just got wrapped up in Montessori and that's kind of worked for us. So teaching textbooks does not start until third grade level and a lot of people say that their second graders can actually do that level of third grade work. And so we went ahead and did placement tests for teaching textbooks. We did, they have a sample, um, a trial where you can do 15 lessons. We worked through the 15 lessons. We all really enjoyed it. My son liked it. I liked it. It was no work for me at all. Um, what we found was that the level he was placed at was really way too easy for him, but there were some gaps that he did need to go through that material to learn to be able to do the next level. So what we're doing now that our trial is up, before we purchase, we're going to go through and just fill in those little gaps. And that way, when we purchase, we'll be able to purchase the next level, which for him will be um, level five. And we'll probably do that later this year or next year. So one of the gaps he had was fractions. We haven't done much work with fractions yet. He also was missing geometry, like basic beginner geometry. 
perpendicular lines, parallel lines, things like that. And so I let him choose and he chose to work through fractions first. So we're using this manual by Montessori Research and Development. Um, we're using the fraction circles I'll link to. And then this does give you lessons to do and it is fairly um it is fairly easy to understand what you're supposed to do so you know it tells you where to sit everything what to do um it takes a little bit of work to decipher you know what maybe printables you need if they call for a printable or um, exactly how to present something and sometimes you can find videos on it so if you were thinking about montessori math this is a level where you could actually just buy the manual the fraction circles and you could be fairly set to do it if you wanted to experiment with it uh, some of the other levels of math are very complicated and they need that big cabinet of bead materials and things so this is pretty easy montessori math to start with if you're interested in that and if you have questions of course i can help walk you through so he's going to be doing fractions and I believe that about covers him for the year.